This specifically is the skull of a dinosaur um, from a group of families called ankylosaurs. They are the armored dinosaurs, if you can imagine an armadillo with a lot of spikes all over it. It's a common misconception that bones are dug in the field where they're found. What actually happens is that uh, a researcher uh, will be walking through, um, you know, deserted, barren canyon land, looking for bones sticking out of the rocks or weathering out. A trench is dug around the the specimen, then it is wrapped in bandages soaked in plaster, uh, which is what you see here. Uh, so this is straight from the field where it was found in Mongolia. For this kind of material, I would use small tools like these needles and things like that and some brushes to slowly work off the rock from the bone. This is soft enough where I can use these kind of needles and things like that to kind of gently work it off. We're basically uh, chipping away till we get to the surface of the bone. And then what we're doing from there is following the line of the bone around, um, gradually removing the rock as we're doing so. So what I'm doing is essentially just using this needle to softly uh, work off the surface of the rock until I get to the layer of bone underneath. I've been working on this piece already about five months already and uh, it's probably gonna take me another three or four to get it to the condition that the researchers wanted in. Every year these researchers go out to the field and collect hundreds of specimens and they bring them back here to the museum. Uh, a lot of times we just find pieces like you see here. These are, are just broken pieces of bones of individual dinosaurs and things like that. Um, but once in a while we do get whole dinosaurs and this tells us uh, very much about the anatomy. Um, this is how we know how certain dinosaurs were actually, how their bones were arranged and things like that using a silicone rubber, we've actually made um, a mold of the skull here. And then filling it in with an epoxy resin, we uh, basically make a copy of the skull. You can see here. And this is uh, research quality. You can take this under a CT scanner and it will literally have um, all of the folds and, and wrinkles and cracks of the original specimen. We'll take uh, about four copies of each bone that we do. Um, one scientific quality cast, uh, another one for the home institution. So whatever country we've gotten it from, they'll get a copy of it as well. And somebody will sit here and literally block out these pieces, uh, put them back together, and then mold the whole thing all together and get this, this cast that you see here.